M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FTM500. We have new firmware, it is August 2023. So scroll down here after selecting this Yesu page, click Files, go all the way to the bottom. And if you're in the USA, click USA. If you're in the rest of the world, click EXP. I'm not sure about Japan, but anyway, so let's go to the firmware and there's lots of information here. Let's just click this one here, have a quick look. Main firmware is going to be 1.06 at the moment. It is 1.02. The DSP is going to be version 0, 7.20. And then I think the sub doesn't change, but maybe I'm wrong. And then C4FM DSP 7.20. We'll do that. Let's see if it's showing us anything more. Currently we have two different destination versions of the FTM, that's the USA and the EXP, which is EU, including EU and China. Okay, the firmware version for Japan is different from the USA or the EXP version. Fair enough, and there must be another link for that. So I will provide these links in the description. Is it gonna tell us what changes have been made? Uh, da, 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 looking down here. Fixed APRS time zone bugs, fixed DTMF coding bugs, yeah, I've heard about that. Other improvements have been made. So not massive changes, but it is, it is a new firmware and we've never seen a firmware update before. So have a quick look at these instructions and then we'll have a go at actually doing this in a separate video. So there's the upgrade manual. It is telling you to make a backup first. And it does show you how to do that. So let's try it on the radio. Press and hold function. Let's go back a minute. Press and hold function. Then go up to 107. The faster way of moving is to turn the bottom dial, but the otherwise fine tuning is this one. Press back up knob. And then look, you can select right to CD and after a while it will back up now, if you've never put your SD card into your FTM500, then it makes sense that really you need to format it first. So you would go down to format, push that, and, and then you would back up after. Because you, when you format, it prepares the SD card and adds the files that are needed for everything, really. Scrolling down, regarding this firmware, how to confirm the firmware version. So if you want to see what version you've got, uh, press and hold function. Turn to one two six, then press it, and there's our version there 1.02, 1.02 for sub and DSP 7.20. So I think they're just changing the main myself, but anyway, we'll, we'll find out when we do the update. We've gone back, there's a back button bottom right there. If you can't see it, it's there. Back button, right? Let's Go down, so SD card, once you've got the files on there and you put it in the PC, so have a look here, press an old function. We've done, yeah, it tells you about the format 109. We just showed you that. Downloading the firmware should be quite straightforward. Once you've done the format, you'll have these files appear. On We put the SD card in your PC using a USB stick adapter, and you'll see that the files need to be dragged into the, this folder here that, that is FTM 500 backup and GPS log. You can see where they, they're they showing where to put them. And then it should find them when you put them in the radio. Scroll up, how to update the firmware, turn the transceiver off, insert the card. Okay, press and hold the DISP key and the power key. And you get this window here. Insert the SD containing the SFL files select update and press update so it should automatically tell you what it's doing really to cancel the update rotate the dial knob to select cancel okay fair enough press the dial knob the firmware version in the ftm 500 and micro sd memory card are displayed so everything's displayed number five rotate the knob to select update and then press dial knob confirmation screen is dis displayed press the dial knob to update the firmware when the update is completed, screen will be displayed with all the new numbers. And we can check that now. You do have to reset the transceiver, so that's quite important. 
and you can reset that in menu number 127 Let me show you that menu there it is there factory reset 127 just follow those instructions and when it comes on again you will need to add your call sign so we will do this um, just remember really important if you've got lots of memories save them somewhere whether you're going to save them using software uh, or you're going to do what they've said here where you press function hold it down go to 107 and save see that there back up and then press press the function again right to SD card okay well if this this is just an instructional video um, but you may be watching the actual installation video and I'll probably put this at the start anyway thanks for watching so far First thing then, let's take the SD card out of the FTM 500. Let's go like so, just push it and it comes out this way around. Okay, put it into our adapter. Now we've opened up where the files were stored on, in my download section here. These are the three files we need here. And we've opened up on the right hand side here the S, just basically the SD card that's in my PC. You just scroll down and just go to your SD card, see it here? And you just click it, USB drive, mine's F, yours might have a different letter, but this is where it is, FTM. And we want these three files in there, so we should be able to just copy them all, really. I'm not sure if I can do them all in one go, so I'm just gonna do one at a time, just go copy, select, copy, Click the 500 file and paste. Right click, paste. Let's just try it. In the end, I'm just dragging them. So I drag one in there. See that? Dragging them into that bottom file. Like so. So that's all three. And then I'm going to click one and drag it up to the file there. Click it. Drag it up. Hopefully, if we double click that file, they're all in there. There you go. So let's take the SD card and put it back into the radio. Let's go back to the instructions. There you go. We need to turn off the transceiver. Put the SD card in, facing that way. Be careful, don't force it. You want it to go in quite easily. And then click it into place. The transceiver is off. Turn off the transceiver, insert the card, press and hold, DISP key and power. Let's do that. Did that? Didn't work though. Press and hold DISP key and the power switch to turn on the tr transceiver. Did that and it didn't work, so let's turn it off again. Press DISP and then turn on. That's better. That's what we like. Quite bright. If I can dim it down a bit. Right, then it says uh, rotate the knob and select update. So let's have a look now. Now, what choices do we get? Ah, yeah, the knob that you can turn is the main VFO. So we're going to push update. And it seems to be showing. 1.06 is on the main and it looks like the C4 DSP 7.20 and the sub are not selected. So, okay, then we're going to click the update and we're going to click end the big VFO again. Okay, update. And it's doing it. Main updating. And then at the end of this, we have to factory reset, but we have taken a backup, so that's not a problem. 
So, yeah, it's updating as per instructions. When the update is completed, the screen, this screen will be displayed. Sub updating OK, main updating OK. Press the dial knob, the transceiver will automatically turn off. Reset the transceiver. So that's quite straightforward, a lot easier than previous ones. Press OK. Now when it comes on, we're going to need to put our call sign in. So, but we do need to reset it first. So turn the transceiver on. It's still got my call sign in because we haven't reset it yet. Press the function knob and hold. Turn to 127. Press factory reset. Click the knob to the left and select OK. And it's after this one we're going to have to put our call sign back in. So it's quite straightforward, isn't it? On and off, and then we get our call sign back in. Press enter. So we go M. Go all the way along. Zero, then back to letters. F. That'll do. Hold down the F. And then to restore, hold down your F. With the bottom knob, turn until you get nearer the SD card. Back up, which is 107. Uh, read from SD card. All, click left, OK. I know it's a bit bright, but that's going to load everything that was in there before with a bit of luck. OK. Reboot. Yeah, that's all my previous settings now. And then we'll just hold it down again. Go up to, what number was it? Was it down? Oh, I don't want to format again. Was it 127, was it? Software version. And there you are, all updated. Hopefully, let's just go back. Pretty sure that was it. I want to find the file now to make sure. By the way, thanks so much for watching my channel. We've got the procedure now. And if you're finding my videos helpful, please hit the like button. And remember to subscribe. Catch you on air. 7-3. All the best. Well, thanks for watching. I just tested the DTMF and that's working great. Bye for now.